2010 Peterbilt uh, square hood. I don't remember which one it is. 388 or 389 maybe. And the tractor protection valve is a bitch to get to. It is horrendous. Uh, ignore the whatever the hell's going on with this rear transmission mount. That's going to be addressed soon. Um, in order to replace this, it's a nightmare. Very hard to get to. I had to pull the U joint caps here and drop the drive shaft back. Um, use an air ratchet because trying to use anything else to do those bolts sucks. Uh, should have at least two bolts at caddy corners. Um, so this one, we got three in there, I think. And it sucks. What happened the way I found it was. I hooked it up to a trailer, trying to test the trailer. The old trailer's been sitting for a while. Um, and whenever I would try and let the brakes out on the trailer, I kept dumping air. Well, I had the truck running, and I kept running back and forth like an idiot. And I never turned the truck off and did it. And then when I finally turned the truck off and did it, because I couldn't find any leaks underneath the trailer, I could just hear air hissing in the tank. And it was hissing out there, and I guess the waves going through the lines made the noise, but you could hear it in the tank at the back of the trailer. And uh, ended up putting another truck on it, and it was just fine. But once this had happened, the first time I figured that's what it was, I just wanted to verify. Yeah, this suck. It was not fun. Very greasy, very dirty.